Hi guys. So my sister Terry, I think I told you, is an art teacher at a private school and um, she's always looking for art supplies and for donations. Um, she only gets a set amount of money from the state of Michigan to stock her craft room. Her craft room. Stop her, stock her classroom is what I'm trying to spit out. And um, so she's always looking for donations and um, stuff to... Uh, using her classroom so somebody had given her this and um she was like flabbergasted because she couldn't understand what to, i mean there's a difference between art and craft and my te my sister teaches art so she was teaching a class in printmaking and um it's it's a specialized art it's they use wood blocks they carve the wood blocks they use different kind of stamps well, apparently somebody thought that she might enjoy stamping because, you know, she had these kids. Well, she doesn't teach craft. She teaches art. And it's really hard for us because some of the stuff I think that we do is art, like the mixed media stuff. But the other stuff we do is craft. So there's a fine line. Well, anyway, the point of the matter is... This donation this lady gave my sister is totally unusual in her craft room, and she was she was didn't know what to do with them. And when I saw what she had, I was like, "What in the world, girl?" I am not joking you. She gave me at least I'm gonna say 50 of these. And there are 99% of them are by Stampin' Up. And I did not test all of them. So um, I asked Deb Hoke because she's a Stampin' Up distributor. And she said she thinks these are from the early 90s or 2000s. Now I touched the pads and they're all damp. So I don't know how they stamp. Um, I tried one and it seemed to work fine. But there are, I have colors like you cannot believe I mean reds and greens and blues and blacks and browns and you know and then not only that I don't even rem recognize any of these names because I've watched Deb Hoke and um, I, d I don't recognize these names so they must be discontinued I mean there's one like a hot chocolate or cocoa or whatever I think Deb has that she's talked about but the rest of these I they must have changed the name or whatever she also gave me a bunch of these color boxes and um, not only that am I still hi <laughs> sorry but she gave me the whoever this person was that gave this to my sister gave her stampin up stamps and they are um very bizarre because uh it is the stamp is on this thing you get the wood block and then there's stickers that you stick it on to figure out what they say so this i guess apparently is how they sold them back in the day i don't not really sure but um there was a really super cool one here in here that I was exceptionally excited about. And I will show it to you in just two seconds. So, yeah, I've got a whole um, box. It's giant. In fact, I really don't know what to do with all these stamps. This one has never been opened. This is a palette. So... When I was out with Pam Vandy, here's another thing I found. I found this house mouse stamps. It was two bucks at the craft outlet. And so I was really excited to find that. So when Terry said there was all these stamps, I'm like, maybe there's a house mouse. And this is a house mouse stamp. It's bunnies, but it's a house mouse stamp. So yeah. So um, there's like these little tiny things that says hand stamped by... Um, Here's another one, stamped by, super cute. Uh, where's the, um, like here's another box of random, it says stamping up on the bottom of the box, so 
Maybe they're from the 90s? I know Stampin' Up! has been around for quite a while, so I would not be surprised. And this, what I thought was, um, sorry, I keep bending over, I'm so sorry. Really interesting was these. And I, would, I thought that these would be really cool to play with. I'm not big in stamping. I guess I am now, but um, I have these to kind of mess around with. I thought this one would be really great for Christmas ones. You know, random snowflake colors. So yeah, I have at my feet, I have maybe, I swear to you, 50 to 60, um, mainly this size in every random color that you could think of. I'm just randomly showing you some of these stamps um, with deepest sympathy. I hope I don't have to use that one. Here's like an Easter. He has risen. Um, there was a couple of Christmas which I was excited about. And this one, I'm, I'm like, what the heck is that? I, I don't... It's a frame? I don't know. Not really sure. Um... I mean, that, that's really nice. Nice Christmas one. Um, just tons. And Oh, I was... I love this one. A chicken. I like chickens. Wedding bells. Uh, wedding wishes. So, um, yeah. I'm like flabbergasted with all these... Um, stamps. <laughs> I mean, I have my lap full and I don't even think you can see me. So, um, and before I left Michigan, every single one of them, I scotch taped. Uh, see, you can see the scotch tape. Every single one of them, I scotch taped and I put in a freezer bag and brought them home. Because um, I also have, in the box that I brought home with me, was family photos. And I was, I was like, I am going to be so angry if these stamp pads leak on my uh, family photos from the 1800s. That would really not make me happy. But, um, so yes, uh, I don't, I'm not really sure why my sister Terry didn't think that these would be helpful in her classroom. She was trying to explain it to me. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I was wrong. This is not House Mouse. It says, um, Margaret Sherry Collection by Penny Black. So, learn something new every day. So, I have to figure out something to do with these stamps. I mean, seriously. <laughs> you know, because I really want to use them and I want to play with them, but... Holy macaroni. I mean, it's it's a bit overwhelming. It's like um, somebody... Uh, another bag. Their life savings invested in stamps. Here's a thing for a wedding shower. Um... So I got a lot of cleaning to do, and um, yeah, so I hope y'all are having a good day. Um, I'm slightly overwhelmed with all the stuff I have to put away and figure out what to do with. <laughs> and, um, so, yeah. Love you guys. Bye.